Hey now, welcome to Watch Wit. Today, an unboxing from Boulder Supply Company. They've sent this into the channel for the purpose of uh, displaying it here, and I have to send it back to them once I'm done, uh, regardless of my opinions. But let's get into it now. I've seen a lot of Boulder watches uh, on various YouTubers' channels, and I've been very impressed with the uh, quality and the variety of watches that uh, definitely appeal to me. So today's is a big boy. Let's dive in and check it out. <laughs> All right, I did take it out of the outer shipping box uh, just because it's so huge. Even this box here is uh, filling up <laughs> the frame. So, uh, But this is the first time we're digging into it. So here we go. Hey, look at that. Little Pelican style case. All right, look at that beauty. That's nice, huh? Oh, it's got, uh, oh, it's, it is actually one that looks like the um, automatic purge. So probably is waterproof and oh nice you can put a uh, nameplate there but uh, let's get in and see what's inside I'm assuming it opens up like that oh yeah oh look at that I'm diving right in Wow look at that Ooh -hoo -hoo. look at that case shape that's beautiful, huh? So the first thing I'm spotting is this sunburst outer dial. Check that out with uh, an, with an inside dial that uh, has got a little bit more of a granular texture to it. Let's see if I can get you a tighter shot. There you go. See that radial sunburst on the outer silver? And then you can definitely see the uh, texture in the middle. Very cool. Nice handset. Love that pop of orange on the seconds hand. And uh, you got that date window uh, down at the 6 o'clock. It appears to be a uh, color match date wheel with uh, the gray background and white numbering. So, and look at this case. Oh, that's nice and chunky and angular. Man, that's beautiful, huh? You got brushing here on the top side. Uh, actually, throughout. Uh, I don't see any high polish. And, uh, ooh, nice crown with their, uh, their logo embossed on it. Great double knurling there. Nice big size crown. So what are your first impressions of this Boulder Odyssey 45? Type your comments down below right now as you continue to watch the rest of the video. And don't worry, if you leave something out, you can leave another comment at the end. Let's see what this bezel does. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's just perfect. Perfect amount of resistance. It's not, uh, it's, uh, you know, tight enough to where you've got to purposely move it, but uh, it also moves with ease. And let me see off camera. There we go. That's lined up off camera, so let's check it on camera. Uh, that's perfect. Doesn't appear to be off at all. Very nice. Definitely get a good positive grip on that uh, on that bezel. Helium escape valve. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so this is rated at 500 meters too. So 50 atmospheres. We'll spin it around and look at the back in just a minute, but uh, let's go over the bracelet. Uh, looks like some of the links uh, are missing. I'm sure they're in the box here because uh, that is, I can tell already, a much smaller wrist. So um, a big watch like this, you know it's going to come uh, with enough links for definitely an 8-inch wrist like mine. So we will check that out a little later, but uh, look at that. It's got a nice, you can see it. <laughs> look at all the light bouncing off of that uh, that bracelet. That's got a great cut to it. You can see it's like faceted on each uh, of the links out of the three. So there's always uh, a spot where the light is hitting it. That's why you're getting that reflection. Very blingy. I like that. Pretty nice. Uh, and look how everything ties in. I mean, this is the Silver Wave edition. So uh, that dial, you know, being silver and with that uh, sand uh, silver in the middle. And then you've got this uh, bezel insert, which is sapphire. Uh, everything just ties right in. I mean, this is an all silver watch. Very nice. So that brushing continues throughout. Uh, it's on the sides as well. And you've got the uh, signed Boulder uh, logo and signature on the clasp. And you've got a fold over safety. And then double push button to a milled scissor. And you've got uh, six micro adjusts. And uh, let's see, it doesn't look like there's any kind of diver's extension. No problem. Yeah, and look at that case back. It looks to be uh, some type of um, artistic uh, octopus in a wave formation, maybe, holding a trident. Yeah, it's very cool. So then written around the uh, edge of the case is stainless steel, Boulder Odyssey. You've got water-resistant uh, 500 meters, uh, 1,650 feet, 
And then the uh, serial number, this is a limited edition, so this one is number 48 of 200. And then automatic and sapphire. So we see uh, solid end links, and uh, look at this, that quick release. Uh, that's a nice feature to have uh, for a bracelet as well. And uh, if I didn't mention it, uh, looks to be uh, screw pins for uh, sizing uh, the bracelet. All right, so inside is the uh, Miyota 9015, uh, part of the Citizen Group, and this is a 4 hertz uh, automatic movement. Uh, that's 28,800 vibrations per hour, which uh, amounts to about 8 ticks per second. We've got 24 joules hacking and hand winding and 42-hour power reserve, which is uh, very nice for uh, 4 hertz movement, don't you think? Uh, screw down crown, obviously, and... We'll show you the first, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're out of danger zone. So the first uh, click should be the date. Wait, whoa, I was going the right way. 16, 17, 18. That is, I mean, I can't feel it or hear it. So that is buttery smooth. I can't even hear it clicking over. All right, and then the uh, second click will uh, hack the uh, movement. And then we can move the handset. We'll put those hands at a better spot. Hand winding and uh, barely any resistance. I'm sure it's from that oversized crown. Uh, look, you can see the gasket uh, there on the uh, tube just uh, outside the threads too. Very nice. And uh, so this movement uh, has a stated accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. And the uh, rotor um, only winds the mainspring uh, in uh, clock clockwise uh, rotation uh, of the rotor, which you can't see there. But <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Before I take the measurements, I want to get in tight on that dial again. Uh, in fact, maybe even just give you some macro shots so I can uh, let you know about uh, more about that sunburst dial and that uh, granular inner dial. Uh, and then the uh, hands. Uh, the handset has got linear brushing you see there and Swiss Super Luminova. And that uh, same Luminova is on the uh, sapphire bezel insert as well. This has got a, a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside. And then we see that helium escape valve again. It's like the watch's little belly button, you know? <laughs> All right, let's get some real life measurements. So I'm gonna measure at the smallest portion there and I come up with 45. They have it listed as 45.5. So uh, they might be coming from a different area. Let's try this side, 45.2. So yeah. So it's basically, that's why they're calling it a 45, I guess. It depends on where you measure it, right? Lug to lug of 53.2, lug width of 22, and your case thickness is 16.3 millimeters. And that big oversized crown is nine millimeters, and it's about 4.5 millimeters thick, uh, not including that embossed uh, boulder logo. The weight is 250 grams uh, with the all the links in the supplied bracelet. Okay, I've sized it for my 8-inch wrist. Let's try it on. Uh, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. This is the Pure Dial Tempo Star. Just recently did a full review. Uh, it's a quick one, too. You can check that out right there. Okay, so I put in all but two links and uh, put the micro adjust uh, at the, what is that? Uh, the third largest slot. So uh, I got room to go either way. Hey, now. Uh, you know, that way for uh, smaller and uh, this way to uh, make it a little bigger. I mean, we're uh, in fall, so that seemed uh, like the right move to me. So let's see what it looks like, and uh, perfect weight uh, uh, center on the uh, back for the clasp, and look at that bracelet. Man, that shimmers, huh? The light is just dancing all around with that bad boy. And I've got an 8-inch wrist, and you can see uh, it's got a little bit of height to it, and there's that knurling on the crown, uh, which is great. I didn't mention, too, that scored uh, part that splits it... Uh, this way, you know, left and right, uh, combined with those uh, horizontal grooves, just really give it a nice grip, easy to grab. But that has got a great look and great feel to it. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. And you can add a little color to it by uh, adding a different strap. Here's an orange uh, Tropic style strap to play off that orange seconds hand. Looks pretty good, huh? Luminescence time. Look at this thing. It's super bright and uh, uh, you're going to see it start to fade here because this is a time lapse uh, video. But I'm here to tell you that uh, I'm recording this voiceover the day after I unboxed it and uh, eight hours later in the morning after uh, uh, waking up and uh, looking at the watch completely legible still super great loom on this thing. 
Here's that same environment, but without the time lapse. You can see how bright it is. Now, the sapphire bezel insert is a little bit more dim, but again, at the end of the uh, night in the morning, eight hours later, I could still read the bezel insert as well. The loom was strong and there. And here's a daylight loom shot. Hey, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and comment down below too. Let me know what you think about this Odyssey Silver Wave, a 45 millimeter, 50 atmosphere diver from Boulder Supply Company. Now this is limited to 200 pieces as well. Uh, 200 pieces in each of the four color variants, this Silver Wave, Reef Green, Pacific Blue, and Dark Media, which is a meteorite dial. Now the price on the website is listed at $649 and you should get a pop-up ad presented to you for an extra $30 off discount. I'll leave a link in the description. Now remember my unboxing videos are not like other channels. They're actually long, exploratory, and very detailed. I'll leave a shorter review after I've had some time with this watch. So subscribe so you can follow along. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money.